So welcome back to Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. So today I want to continue my talk on love. As you know, love is the strong experience. We have this strong, powerful emotion, according to the dictionary. But I said to you that love is a beautiful energy that stimulates our will. That's for our reflection. Now, what today am I going to talk about? Well, we all experience many strong emotions and... As you well know, we experience negative ones, at least in my opinion, like frustration, anger, jealousy, sadness. I have experienced all those. I don't know about you. I would think that you have. But what is really interesting about these emotions that actually sort of rocked my world is that, do you know that almost all these negative emotions are forms of love? Yes, they are forms of love. When I uh, actually reflected on this, I had to reflect on my entire marriage. I felt actually very hmm, disappointed in myself. Well, let's start with the first one. Let's start with one of, sorry, one of those emotions I recalled. Those emotions, um, as I said, can be quite negative. So let's look at um, anger. Why do we become angry? Well, on reflection, I don't know about you, but um, I used to get angry when things didn't go the way I thought it should go. Like, for example, if we divided household chores, I would get upset, angry, you know, why you're not doing your part of the work, um, or I would get angry if I had certain expectations and it didn't go through. Now, as you notice, these all these things were to do with my expectations um, of the other party or situation. So we get angry when things don't go as we want them to go. So that goes back to us. Let's think about jealousy. Hmm. Someone once told me that we all get jealous at one point or another. I may have to agree with that but we have the ability to control it. But why do we get jealous? For example, if someone surpasses us on a job, gets, um, let's say, a promotion, or someone is getting his or her own way, and you find, well, you're putting so much effort and you're just not getting your way. Like, for me, one of the things I would find was that I thought I was working so hard. I thought, you know, I was working so hard and um, I would take care of the kids, I would work, I would give extra classes. And somehow I, I felt um, that I had to always be the one to give up on my dreams while Safra's uh, would somehow get to continue on his path. Was it jealousy? I didn't really think it as jealousy at the time. Um, I was actually happy for him. I wanted him to excel. But I wanted to excel too. Mm, so I, I, I'm not sure really if that's jealousy. But again, as we can see, sometimes if it's not a family member, it can be a co-worker, it could be a friend. You know, we hear a friend is getting married and we are not getting married. Or we hear a friend won some money or got a scholarship. You know, we, we have that little uh, um, negative energy arising. Why couldn't it be me? So again, do you notice this jealousy is a form that goes back to us? I am jealous because I wish that happened to me. I am angry because of my own expectations. So why am I getting sad? Hmm. Again, I am sad because, let's say, I had high hopes on a promotion. I'm sad because um, I expected my husband to bring me some beautiful flowers and he didn't. Oh, I expected a birthday gift. I'm sad because I grew up my children. I work so hard and now they can't even call me. Let's say these are some of the issues we are all facing. And we get sad. Now, in all these, whether it be sadness, whether it be anger, whether it be jealousy, um, do you notice how it all goes back to us? Oh my gosh, this had me really thinking. In all of these, it's love for ourselves. Why 
Are we not being treated better? Why are they not living up to our expectations? Why are they doing better than us? It's all going back to me, me, me. They are all forms of love, but it is love for oneself. We love ourselves, but are we loving ourselves in the right way? Actually, when these emotions come, I humbly ask you, these emotions of anger, jealousy, sadness, disappointment, ask yourself, is it that I really love myself so much that I cannot put the other person in front of me? Now, it is important to love ourselves. As I said, we need to sing, we need to dance, we need to nourish our soul. We need to go for long walks in nature, be in silence, look at our thoughts. Definitely. But believe me, we don't need these negative emotions. No, they will come. Believe me, I still have them. But when I have them now, I reflect, is this about me? Am I upset because he didn't bring me something? Am I upset because I'm loving myself so much that I don't want to be treated this way? Now ask yourself today, why are these emotions coming? Believe me, it's our selfish love for ourselves. And what we need to do in this world to move from this form of selfish love is that we need to put others first. And one way to do that is to practice it within your own household. Stop thinking, why is my son not doing his chores, getting angry, swearing, using terrible words, acting up, becoming all um, out of control? Instead, ask myself, is it because of my own expectation? Is it because I expect that, um, because I am doing so much that I expect them to be like me? And you will see, it's actually the answers are always going to be me, 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 and more me. And believe me, this was me too. On reflection, I used to think, wow, I'm doing so much. I'm working, I'm giving extra classes. As I said, I am um, taking care of the kids. I'm, I'm teaching them. I'm actually hoping that they could um, have some morals in their life. I'm dropping them to extra classes and I'm just going on and on and on like an energizer bunny. And when I think of my husband, he always looks so relaxed. He would come home from a 30 hour shift and he would smile. He seems so easygoing. But you know what was interested? Interesting, sorry. He was always so peaceful. He was peaceful, he was calm, he was loving. And I used to think, oh my gosh, he doesn't even care about anything going on. I was so wrong. He loved all of us, sorry, he loved all of us so much that he just let us be. He had very little expectation of us. He just let us be. If I felt to dance, I could dance. If I felt to cook, I could cook. If I felt to go back to Trinidad and live, I could do that too. If I felt to stay in Canada with him, I could do that. He just let others be, you know. But he remained centered. His emotions did not get the better of him. Of course, unless I pushed him. And believe me, I did push some negative buttons. And now on reflection, I, I actually think to myself, nobody could love me more than the way Safras loves me. I actually thought he was so selfish. I thought all he cared about was his career. People look at us and say, oh, you guys are so perfect. But I want you to know we struggled a lot, at least I struggled. Thinking, did he really love me? Is, am I just a good fit while he does his career? All he cares about is himself, he's so selfish, oh my gosh. But I had all these expectations of him. And he was just allowing me to be, which is one of the most beautiful things someone can do for us. It's let us be. So I ask you today, every time you have those negative emotions, ask yourself, reflect. Is it about you? And if it is, you are doing something that is only damaging yourself. 
Try to reduce those expectations. Try to think of what is best for the other person. Try to bring joy to the other person. Try to serve the other person. Try to love. And try to reduce those expectations daily. And whenever jealousy, anger, frustration come, just take a step back. And get in touch with yourself. <laughs> Who knows, just stop and sing. I do have challenges. My son Ajay is very interesting, and believe me, he's so smart, he's so kind, he's witty. But he can actually sometimes make me reflect in such a beautiful way. He loves to do things in his own time. He's, um, he takes things very lightly. And he has been able to teach me a lot. When I reflect, I just wanted him to be like me. In fact, I wanted Safras to be like me. And you know what? Safras must think I must be a really pain. <laughs> but he put up with me. And he allows me to be every day. And Ajay puts up with me too. Guess what? He's like, Mom, you like everything done now. Or you see one piece of paper on the ground and the whole house is dirty. Seriously, Mom? And one day Ajay asked me a beautiful question. He says, Mom, tell me one thing I do wrong. Mm. And I, I couldn't really answer. <laughs> it was just that I, he didn't do things in, in my allotted time or he didn't do things the way I wanted him to do it. And you know what? We all want to be accepted. We all want to be loved. And I ask you today, again, please reflect on those moments you have on those negative emotions, because honestly, they have very little to do with the other person, but they have a lot to do with us. And please don't be like me. After 21 years of marriage, um, of course, I had some great times. I, 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 I have wonderful times. I mean, Safras loves me for me. But it took me a long time. I mean, I knew how wonderful he, he is. But it took me a really, really, really long time to realize that this guy is an ocean of selfless love. But for me, to be able to give this love I had to fill myself with love and I had to have the right knowledge. So please, use this knowledge and realize that all these negative emotions, stop focusing on other people. Use your time to reflect and to create a change within you and within your family. And the whole house will actually, the home, sorry, will be a more beautiful place. And as they say, when the home is more beautiful, Everywhere will be more beautiful. Share love. Well, thank you for listening and join me again on Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. Have a great day. Love you all. From Safra's Anita and our kids. Take care. Bye.